What's up guys, Carter here, and it's a wonderful November day here in Texas, but we do have some freezes coming up. So I thought now would be a wonderful time to start talking about dormancy because the seasons are changing and the plants are gonna start changing too. At this time of year, succulents go one of two ways. Either they start gearing up for the winter and they start growing a lot, or they start going dormant. Because in the succulent world, we have two types of growers. We have winter growers and we have summer growers. Check the description below for a list of plants that are either winter or summer growers so you can figure out where your plant lies and better care for it. So what is dormancy? Dormancy is a stage of slowed growth that almost all succulents go through when temperatures change like it is now. What does it look like? It looks like shriveled caudexes, cacti that are flattening against the ground, dropping leaves. Now there are some plants that you definitely want to remove these dead leaves from like plumerias, adenias, adeniums, things of that nature, you want to remove these because these leaves can collect around the base of the roots of the plant and lead to fungus and other infections. Now when you remove these leaves, you want to make sure that these leaves are completely dead. You want to make sure that they're completely yellow and dried before you remove them because a lot of these plants are using those leaves and absorbing nutrients from them before they drop them. So make sure you clean your plants, but don't do it too preemptively. Now, what causes dormancy? Dormancy is caused by four main things. Changes in temperature, changes in photo period, changes in water availability, and sometimes it is caused by stress that is due to an injury or parasite. Changes in temperature is pretty obvious. When the winter comes, the temperatures start getting lower. Now for your summer growers, this means that they're gonna start shedding leaves and slowing down. Plants can even change the chemistry of their cytoplasm to prevent them from freezing. Now, while a lot of plants are going dormant, another thing that you'll see a lot of plants doing is firing up their reproductive organs. A lot of cacti start to reproduce when these temperatures drop as a final act before they go fully dormant. Even the Christmas cactus, to get it to flower, people will put it in the dark. Ferrocactus, barrel cactus, they need drop in temperatures in order to start creating those buds. Water availability. Now, like light and temperature, the water availability to plants changes with the seasons. Places like California or South Africa or even the Chihuahua Desert stay pretty mild during the winter and they actually get the most rain during these times. So there are some winter growers there and you need to be careful if you have a winter grower because you don't want to overwater it when it's dormant in the summer. A lot of plants like conophytums or lithops, some other mesems will start to shrivel up and look like they're dead in the summer, but they're not, they're going dormant. So you don't want to overwater them because they will spring back to life in the winter. That is one of the biggest problems I see in plant world is overwatering when plants are going dormant. Changes in photo period is another cause of dormancy in plants. Now that is because plants are super sensitive to daylight length. A lot of plants detect changes in daylight length because they create a chemical at night when the sun is down. And when the sun comes up, they rapidly use up that chemical. So by detecting the levels of that chemical in their own body, they can basically create their own calendar. And this is how plants like Aryocarpus are able to mass bloom at the same time. Even in the equator where there's only minor fluctuations in daylight length, plants can still detect this. And actually you can deter a plant from going into dormancy by keeping it in a warm environment with constant light. Now, whether that's good or bad for their health is highly debated but that is a possibility. Finally, we have stress-induced dormancy. This is caused when either a plant is totally defoliated by a predator or a parasite invades it, and then it decides to shut down and rest until conditions get better. Another issue that is specific to succulents that you might find in winter is spider mites. Because you're watering less, spider mites enjoy a drier conditions. They might invade. They also might like the warmth of your greenhouse. So keep an eye out for spider mites, especially on plants with a lot of leaves uh, because that's what they love, succulent little leaves. So how to care for your plant when it goes into dormancy. I like to try to keep it simple. You don't want to change too much. Now for watering, the general rule of thumb for watering a plant in dormancy is that you wanna do about half the waterings that you would do normally, and that's being generous. For my Cyphostemmas, I only give them a sprinkling once a month during the winter because I'm afraid of that caudex getting wet and cold and melting. So about half is being generous, 
But if you even want to drop back even further, say you have copiapoas and you really have a cold winter, you don't have to water those puppies for two to three months and they will not flinch. Again, like I said, a lot of these plants are not going to be uptaking water as much as they would be during active growth. And because they're not absorbing it, that water is going to sit in the soil and cause other microbes to form and your plant is gonna melt. Another thing, do not fertilize during dormancy. All of those minerals and all of those nutrients are gonna go completely to waste and they're gonna be used by other organisms in your plant's soil. A good rule of thumb that I've heard from experts in the field of succulents is that dormancy lasts from Thanksgiving to spring break. So during that time, you wanna lower your waterings and some people even say, don't even water at all. Now, I will say for seedlings, you do wanna keep watering, uh, especially for things like astrophytums. They need some moisture even during the winter months, especially if you live in a place like Texas where you're gonna randomly get an 80 degree day, they need that. But do not try to repot these seedlings or up-pot them. And in general, do not try to repot plants during dormancy. You really don't wanna separate seedlings during the winter because all those little roots together in the pot help dry it out and they help work together to keep diseases from showing up. And then repotting them is just gonna add more undue stress that you don't want. So those are some basic facts on dormancy. Check down in the description to see where your plant might fall, summer, winter grower. And if you have questions about your specific plant, hit us up at East Austin Succulents or Fireproof Plants and we'll be happy to help you out. Make sure to like and subscribe Botany Basics and follow East Austin Succulents and Fireproof Plants on Instagram.